Hey you guys, it's Brit tonight. We're here to discuss and react to all of the new body cam footage that we have regarding Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrand's arrest. I want to put at the beginning of this video, I will not be including the clips that include the children because I just don't think that's right. I don't think that those clips should have been released to the public. I think that these kids should be protected fully. And I realize that this is a criminal investigation. However, um, even if the children's faces are blurred, I just don't think that it should have been released to the public. I think that it should have been only released to those people who absolutely need to see this footage. Um, you know, I, I think that a lot of my audience kind of reacts to stuff in the same manner that I do. I will say in the beginning of this video that if y'all are going to go search for this content and watch the content that features the children, the few clips that are out there, um, I was watching all of this and I did not have a reaction physically until I saw the kids. Um, and once I saw the children, that is what actually made me have a physical response to seeing all of this um, footage. It, it was just, it was just really difficult. And that's where I will leave it. So watch at your own risk. Those clips will not be in this video. Um, I'm going to focus on Ruby and Jody. There is quite a bit to get through. So nevertheless, if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so let's start at the top where police enter Jody Hildebrand's home for the very first time. And FYI, some of these clips have sound that is removed. So if there is complete silence, it's not me, it's just the clip. So there might be a few sporadic points in this video where there is absolutely no sound. That's just because it was removed from the footage that was uploaded for obvious reasons. Um, so let's start at the top. Right, right left Obviously, the delay in Jody answering the door is she realizes that the gig is up. The gig is up for her and Ruby uh, conspiring together to abuse Ruby's children in this um, place that she calls home. The gig is up. The police are at your front door. They are here to absolutely arrest you because Ruby's sweet child had the courage to escape and go to the new neighbor's house to ask for help. The gig is up and she is absolutely, I would love to have been um, a fly on the wall when all of this was happening on the inside of the house because they are fully in sheer panic mode. Jody, I need you to step uh, out. I have, I have my turn. That's great. Step out of the house. No, I'm not going to step out of the house. Step out of the house. Step out of the house. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're just going to see. Wait a minute. How do you come to my house? Right there. Look, they go into my house. So have a seat right there. Do you have a search warrant? Have a seat right there. Do you have a search warrant? Have a seat right there. I'll explain everything after. Right. Have a seat right there. Do you have a search warrant, sir? Control 12 x 11 can you hold the air? We're searching the house. I can tell you what's in the house. Okay. 
Just have a seat right there for me. Do you have a search warrant? We'll explain it after this. You can't just come into my house without a search warrant. We'll explain everything after this, ma'am. Okay. Well, that's one of the reasons why we're here. So we'll explain after everything's done, after we clear the house. Well, maybe she was on the phone. Was she on the phone with her attorney? Is that what she said? I can't really make that out in the closed captions, kind of all blend together. Jody, um, listen, if you don't want police knocking down your front door, how about you don't do anything that they have a reason to knock down your front door? That's a really easy solution. And whoa, 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 before anyone leaves a comment saying, oh, well, you know, police have power all the time. I fully recognize that. However, Jody was not being a law abiding citizen. She was using a ch multiple children. Therefore, she is a child abuser. And that is why the police were knocking down her front door. So don't with this. Oh my God. Do you have a search warrant? Please. I'm sure that you can tell them what's in the house, Jody, but nobody believes you. And you are now a child abuser. And for anyone who is wondering, if you are rescuing children from an abuse situation, F your search warrant. This is not a normal police interaction. This is literally children being rescued before they were found dead. So let's go to the next one. It says body cam, police inside Jody Hildebrand's Southern Utah home. This is about five, five and a half minutes. I seen that. Made sure that it was that yeah. was dead that way. That was a little intimidating. Yeah. You can probably just sit on the couch so you're not out here in the sun. You okay. Just have to make sure no one's in the bathroom when they're going. Okay. Just have to move. I'm gonna wait. No, no, no. She she doesn't get to go inside of her luxury home and sit in the cool AC on her comfortable couch. She made children literally do hours and hours of manual labor outside in the scalding U Utah sun. Um, so make her sit out in the sun with no shoes. Make her sit out on these hot steps. Make her go jump into a cactus and don't give her any food or water. I am a thousand percent sure that if there is a place called hell, Ruby and Jody have first class tickets on their way there. I've already done a full tour of her home when it was listed on Zillow, but seeing this clip from the day or these clips from the day of the arrest, tell me how y'all feel about this down below. But I feel like her house is very cold, very uninviting, very almost like sterile, even though it's not sterile, it just comes off as not feeling like a home. It almost feels like a compound or like a bunker. It doesn't strike me as the kind of place where anybody could really feel like they were at home. And then to know all of the egregious things that were happening in between these four walls, um, it, it obviously adds a whole different layer to it. But even if I didn't know that this house, it's like, this is such an expensive house. And to me, it comes off as just feeling at cold as ice. But tell me how y'all feel about that down below. I think he's outside. Or... Can you bring all the cars up? I hope so. Otherwise, mine's still blocking the road. Bro, like, like the address, I pulled it up, right? And I drove over. And it's like, I'm oh, the last car at the very end. Oh, damn. I, I think. I rolled up and the lady's like, oh, they're down the street. I was like, what the heck? Why are you on the car going? <laughs> yeah, I think he went down and grabbed mine. Mine was blocking over the road, so. Yeah. Oh, you guys mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. That's what I would do. She's probably in that bathroom 
talking to herself in the mirror like that little kid if that little kid didn't out us then we would not be in this situation you know for a fact that she is not even considering for a, for a second of like oh look at what i did and look at what position i am in right now she is thinking if ruby's child didn't escape and out us then we wouldn't be in this position and you know that all of her anger is going towards that child that escaped and not her and ruby <clears throat> for being the adult fully in control of this situation and creating everything that unfolded. Oh. <laughs> and I should have more bracelets in my car. Somewhere. You know, she stays in the bathroom for a really long time, and I just want to say that there was no check done of that bathroom before she was allowed to go in there, not cuffed, not with any kind of um, supervision from a female officer, nothing. Like, she was just allowed to use the bathroom. Like, what if she had something in that bathroom to end herself, and therefore she would have never been brought to justice? It kind of feels like... Um, you know, the, the cops are softballing both of them and we will get more into Ruby and her interaction with the officers as this video goes on. But why, like, why was she just allowed to go in there? And she's been in there for far too long, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't know. Let's keep going. So she comes out after almost five minutes. I'm gonna speed up that little section just because he's literally just standing in the hall waiting for her to be done doing whatever she's doing in the bathroom. Um, and, and then she comes out, so let's pick up there. Ooh, must miss that stuff. I'll just have a seat on the couch. and that's my whole thing you're allowing her to sit on the couch no let's take her outside and let her sit in the um august heat of utah because that's what she was doing so why is she allowed to have these luxuries like air conditioning and a soft couch to sit on when the same luxuries were not given to the children that were held prisoner in that home Okay, so now let's go over to what happened when Ruby was taken into custody, and then we will get into once they were actually taken to the um, police office, and we'll go from there. So let's get into Ruby Doo and her reaction to the gig being up. Yeah, no, go ahead. Okay. Is there a restroom right here? I don't know where it's at. Where are we going to use this? Okay, yeah, there is one there. Thank you, sir. Okay. I mean, LT. and her little tantrum attitude walking around like why the attitude ruby you're the one who actively participated in abusing your children and later on we will see her um completely stonewalling and just not giving even a answer to anything to the officers um it, it's so interesting to me like you caused all of this and you want to 
cry and do the whole, oh, I was brainwashed and I was controlled by Jody. But we see the real Ruby Frankie in these videos as they progress. And kind of the icing on the cake for me is once she's in the interview room, which we will get to, it really shows how little she cares about anything and just is zip it. And I realize like, you know, it's up to each person if they want to talk to officers, but it also seems like for the sad song that she was singing in court and how from very early on she said how Jody was controlling the entire situation and this is Jody's fault and I'm just you know this sweet little lady who was controlled by Jody um that is not who we see in these videos but let's keep going That's just really loud. <laughs> What's that? It's an alarm. You want to turn it off? Yeah, where's it at? It's my face. I don't know the looking at. What's an alarm going off for at 245? Is that so that she can send her children out into the sun to do manual labor? Is that the time that she is supposed to kick her child in the head? Is that the time that she is supposed to, um, you know, uh, try to drown her child? Is that a reminder to make sure to not feed her children? What exactly is that reminder for? Is it a locker or is that a locker? Yeah, turn down there. You good? Yeah. Okay. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said something. You're yelling something to him. I apologize. I wonder if going into this arrest, if any of these officers knew Ruby to be a YouTube family vlogger or if they just thought, oh, this is a really nice house and these two child abusers are being taken into custody. I do kind of wonder about that. Obviously it's not, um, you know, a huge thing, but my curiosity does go to, I wonder if any of them knew of her from social media. All right, well, it feels good in here. So, hey, Ruby, at this time, so that you're already detained, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna be taking you back to the police department. Okay, so I'm gonna be pop up. You want to put it on one of our vehicles? Yeah, you want. Okay, just place your hand on your back for me. Perfect. And then, right now, I can put a finger in each of these, okay? And I'm just going to double up this so they don't tighten up on you on the way out there. Where's your car? It's out there. Yeah. By the command. Um, you don't have anything on you that I should know about, correct? any weapons, anything that we're going to find. Before we put you in a police vehicle, we need to search your person to make sure you don't have anything on you. Is there anything you have on you? Okay, I'm going to search you before we put you in his car. That's just protocol, so I'm just going to have you step right over here. And then just widen your waist, widen your stance. Yep, perfect. Are you wearing a bra? Okay, I'm just going to go like this through and make sure you don't have anything. You said you're not wearing a bra? Okay. Hard, bitter, and annoyed. Because she got busted for being a child of that is the real Ruby Frankie. Quiet, hard, just pissed that the gig is up. Is that just like a tank top under here? Okay. I'm just gonna lift up your hair. Okay. All right, you're just gonna walk with Officer Hines. No problem. And then, hey, Hines. Is, you want to go this way or that way? Yeah. Okay. And then if you want to go down the downstairs, yeah. into the interview room downstairs. Sounds good. You Thank going you. down or I'm going down? You're going down. Okay. 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 I appreciate it. I was going to ask you to come turn my car off, but I'm leaving now. So we're good. Yeah. It's still on. Thank you. Okay. Hey, bud. Hold on. Well, 
if you want to ask. Uh, I got you. Just so we can tell them who we're taking down there. Ruby? Okay. I'll go this way. My view. You know, people who have children and they abuse animals and uh, things along these lines, I, I'd like for them, and I realize that this is totally wackadoodle time, but I'm going to go ahead and go there. Um, why don't we have some kind of enclosed or partially enclosed cage where there is no heat and no air conditioning and extreme vile conditions so that when these people are apprehended, they go and sit in this um contraption while they're transported to the jail because i i don't think that these people should be given an ounce of comfort once they are taken into police custody let's go ahead and build something that is just outrageous uncomfortable disgusting and they get to sit in there while they are hauled off to jail yeah, Captain. Oh, yeah, he told me, she told me to transfer it down, then she'll move here. Yeah. And for Ruby to have the audacity to even complain about the comfort level that she was feeling or the handcuffs or anything along those lines, as a reminder, her child was found with literally injuries on that child's limbs from duct tape, honey, cayenne pepper, and the restraints that Ruby and Jody were putting the child into. So f off with your comfort. Appreciate it. Ruby, what's your last name? Just so I could tell them I'm transferring. Okay. Control traffic 13. I'm gonna speed up this part once they get to this station and once they are guiding her into the interview room because it's just walking around and her being transported. So let's get to where she's actually um, talking with the officers or I should say stonewalling them. I just saw something I'm in here when he comes out. If he's, oh, okay. he's gonna do interviews with me. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, you want to cut that? She is definitely not a talk. She's not? Even if I ask her a name okay. or just like, then you ask him about things, she looks at me and goes, I know. That's how, that's how they always, What's that? That's how they always, really? Yeah, I'm very curious. I'm gonna have you come sit on this side for me. Thank you. Is this your water? I'm gonna. It's yours if you want it. We'll say that a couple We also have snacks if you need anything to eat. So I know I introduced myself to you earlier, but my name is Detective Bates. So she's given water and snacks when she is being apprehended and taken into custody for malnutrition, starving, and abusing her children. I find that to be completely unfair, and I realize that, you know, listen, me saying things along those lines, it, it's just crazy because, like, these things will never happen. But again, if you are taken into custody and you're being arrested for malnutrition children or mal your um, animals or your children or anything along those lines, then I don't think that you should be given water and offered snacks. I think that you should have to sit there and be thirsty and be hungry and off with your complaints. That's how I feel. And this is Sergeant Tobler. We're just here to talk to you about kind of a few things involving your kids. So first, are you doing down here or... Where do you live up north? The blinking and the stonewalling and the silence, again, this is the real Ruby Frankie. This is the Ruby Frankie that we all know. This is the Ruby Frankie who is reminding everybody how upset she is that she got busted. How upset she is that the gig is up. How upset she is that people caught on. And how upset she is at her child that escaped that situation. 
and finally got these two idiots arrested. Do you want to talk to me about where you live or how many kids you have? So we just spoke with your husband and he said you guys have six kids. Are those all together? Are those all your kids? I can wait all day. So it's up to you if you want to talk to us about what's going on. Would you feel more comfortable talking to one of us? Or do you want me to take a step out for more? Or if you feel more comfortable talking to him, I can step out. I'll wait till I have a lawyer. Okay. I'll wait till I have a lawyer. <laughs> See, this is where I think that, like, I don't know, the, the demeanor that she has and the look that she has on her face, you know, maybe try a water Maybe try that and see if she wants to answer questions then. So do you want to talk to us at all? Do you want to answer that? Are you, you don't want to talk to us about anything? Seeing this interview really encapsulates why her whole sob story and all of that nonsense that we've been seeing in court hearings and um, the the letters and the, oh I'm you know poor little Ruby I I don't buy it for a second I think that it is a complete just I'm sorry that I got caught and I'm sorry that I'm spending time in prison. So yeah, this this is just your chance to tell us we're just trying to get your side of the story. Um, so it's your chance to do that, but it's up to you for sure to talk. And I mean, I'm not asking any criminal questions. If you don't want to talk to us, just let us know and we'll, we'll, we'll be done. I've already told you. So uh, more stonewalling, no. more, you know, not, you know, showing people who she actually is. Now let's go over to this video of Ruby and Jody being hauled off to jail by the police. Of course, we saw Ruby's segment just now, but I want to show y'all Jody's reaction to actually being in custody. So let's get into it. All right, you're gonna have to stand up, all right? Thank you. Go ahead and face this officer. Go ahead and put your hands on top of your head. You know, your finger, please. Thank you. Just put your hands on top of your head. You're good. Look to your left. Friday, not work for uh, the interview, but I got Jessica. She's going to be a card. We can schedule another day. We'll keep that Monday meeting for that interview. Oh, no. So, on Monday's holiday, if you want. Oh, we'll get you a card. You can get with Adam and schedule that. Okay? How, how about I schedule that? Do you guys have a phone? We'll, we'll give you a card with a phone number. Okay. And then, yeah, you can call Adam and have Adam call us. And we can schedule it, or you can call us and schedule it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna do another quick check, another eye search here. Yeah. Nothing in your pocket, yeah, nothing on you at all? Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, I'll help you if you need. I had a crash on the right side, so my shoulder screwed up. Okay, just be careful then, I'm gonna got you right here, as much as I can. Do you, would it you feel more comfortable? Cuff? Yeah. Put two cups yeah. on it, go ahead and step on it. I got you, I got you. So he's going to... Come on out, one more. We're going to we're gonna double cuff you so that you have more room for your shoulders. And he's going to take one of your hands out, okay? When he does that, I want you to place that hand on your head for me. Um, I need a third one for uh, her. Just seeing the attitude from both of them, seeing the um, callous kind of approach that they had with these officers, like, don't be mad that y'all got busted. I am pretty sure that... Let's just say, let's come up with a pretend scenario here. Let's just say that they were taken into custody and then somehow, some way, not prosecuted and they were allowed to go back. Mark my words, Ruby's children would have been absolutely destroyed because the anger with these two women that were um, caught for their actions and all of those things, like, it would have not ended well for Ruby's children.
So I am so glad that they were not only taken into custody, but they were kept in custody and they are still in custody and they were not allowed around her children from the moment that they were taken into custody on the 30th of August. Thank God. All right, step up, please. Thank you. Go and face that officer. Put your hands on top of your head, please. Interlace your fingers. Thank you. Put it on top of your head. Look to your left. Thank you. I just don't want to hit you in the head. I don't know what to Okay. I know you got searched already. I don't buy uh, baits. You don't have anything in your pockets at all, right? You have just these ones only? Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Make sure I want to let you know what your what criminal charge is for, so you're under arrest. It's going to be two counts, second degree felony of child abuse or neglect, okay? Do you understand that or no? Are you okay? I'm wondering if there's like a medical clearance that needs to, like, do, do you need medical attention before you go to the jail? So we got okay. in this clip that we're watching right now, just Ruby completely giving the silent treatment to these officers, like, I'm pretty sure that it's a little bit of shock and disbelief that this is actually happening and also her ego and pride just thinking that she is like this is not not actually happening because she's so delusional and so full of herself. Um, but again, if you abuse your kids, eventually you will be exposed and you will get caught and yeah, the gig is up. All right, well, we'll have you. So she gets down here, we'll... Okay. Have you ever been arrested before? I'm just concerned about you. I know you don't believe that. But I've had an opportunity to talk to your husband and kind of worried about your circumstances and obviously your children as well. You're sure you don't need medical attention or anything like that? I got some tears. Why did you start today? I don't know. It's all really good. I'm feel too good right now if you can listen. We'll see. Yeah, do you, we probably need to do another search? Yeah. Okay. Just not worry about anything, but. I'm just going to make sure you don't have anything in your pockets. You're not wearing anything else under this, correct? Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Spandex? Ma Nothing? You don't remember okay. what you're in? Okay. I just want to make sure that you don't have anything. Just wipe your stance a little bit for me. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so. I just spoke, you can turn to face me. So I just spoke with Jody, but you both are under arrest right now for child abuse. And you'll have two counts of that, one for you. Listen, this officer is six inches from Ruby's face, telling her that she is in custody and under arrest for nourishing and abusing her two children. And that gained zero response from Ruby. These children whom you birthed and you brought into this world and whom counted on you for their safety, security, sanity, everything. You broke that trust and you served them and you abused them and you are now in police custody. And this officer is literally inches from your face telling you that you are being taken to jail for doing what you did and nothing that is super scary i don't know um oh, this is hard when i think of the trust that kids put into their parents the only thing that i can really compare it to and i realize that you know kids and pets are not comparable but for me and my personal experience, all that I can think of, like, you know, 
my dog, I feed him breakfast and dinner every single day and he gets three treats throughout the day and things along those lines. And, you know, he's so trusting and he is so, um, he just believes that, you know, I'm going to be here and I'm going to make sure that he's fed and he'll eat anything that I give him. Like, the trust is just so there and to think of somebody taking that and manipulating it and withholding food and allowing your children to become literal skeletons. All right, so the last part of that clip, there's no sound. Let's see what else is out here. Now, there is a full interview that is almost 46 minutes long with Kevin. I am not going to react to that in this video. If y'all want me to, I will react to that in a separate video because I really want this to be kind of something that can be consumed in a reasonable amount of time. So let's watch this last police raid safe. Ruby Frankie's kids were locked in and tied up and that'll most likely be the last video that I react to in this one. What these two did, it's just the worst of the worst. Like I've said a thousand times on many different videos, if you are able to harm children, kids are so trusting. They trust that you're there in their best interest. They'll trust if you're giving them food, it's not been tampered with. And if you're not giving them food, then they think that they did something bad. And if you're trying to tell them that they are evil and possessed, they're going to believe that. Like kids, kids are just the most innocent members of human society. And to see the amount of abuse and the amount of damage that these two idiots and monsters did to Ruby's children, you know, like I said, if if there is a if there is a real place hell, these two absolutely deserve to be there. And I hope that, as I've said in other videos, I want to close out with these thoughts. I hope that these kids are getting all of the love, all of the support, all of the guidance, and all of the mental health. Um, help that they need to come out of this and be okay into their teen and adult years because the things that they went through that maybe we don't even know about and we don't need to know about my god can you imagine the amount of trauma that these kids have to unpack and carry with them even if they do unpack it it can still be carried with them for the rest of their lives and I'm so glad that Ruby and Jody were caught when they were because this might sound harsh, but I've said it in other videos, if they were not caught when they were, I truly believe that these two children would have been carried out of Jody's house in Utah in body bags. I am so glad that they caught they were caught. So either way, I think that's enough for today. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.